Hi, and welcome back to another Wildlife Wonders video. My name is Leilani, and today is Women's Equality Day. So we're gonna look at a few very dedicated, compassionate, and intelligent women who have advocated for the preservation of wildlife conservation. So let's go. When Gari Mathai was an environmental, social, political activist from Kenya, she attended college and received a bachelor and master's in biological sciences. And then she earned a doctor in veterinary anatomy at the University of Nairobi. Her expertise allowed her to become the department chair of veterinary anatomy and an associate professor within the department. All of which both positions, she was the first woman as well as the first woman from East and Central Africa to ever receive a doctorate degree. During her employment at University of Nairobi, she became very involved with advocating for a better future for Kenya and its environment. She joined the National Council of Women of Kenya, which focused on women's rights, education, and environmental issues, and even was elected as a chairperson. Her involvement led her to hear the voices of the women in her community, which had concern for the lack of firewood and water. Mathai decided it would be beneficial to start a community-based tree planting to fight against the growing problem of deforestation. This was the start of the Green Belt Movement. These efforts enhanced the groundwater presence, food security, environmental quality, and provided jobs. It was evident that the root cause of such issues originates from a lack of rights and democracy. The Green Belt Movement fought against oppressive political leaders. Their success led to an international platform by partnering with the United Nations Environmental Program. There's currently 5,000 Green Belt Movement supported tree nurseries in Kenya. This is a picture of Wangari Mathai receiving the Nobel Peace Prize in 2004, and she was the first environmental, social, political activist and the first African woman to win the Nobel Peace Prize. It is to be understood that during all this amazing work that she did was all done during an oppressive government regime. She had been imprisoned several times physically attacked and publicly shamed. Without her compassion toward her people and environment, the seven seedlings she planted at the start of the Green Bell movement was transformed to 51 million trees in Kenya today. Wow, wasn't she so inspiring? I believe the biggest takeaway here is to never stop fighting for what you believe in, no matter what. If you enjoyed this video, go check out the next two videos about more inspiring women in conservation. And check us out every Wednesday on our Facebook, Instagram, and website. I'll see you then.